It is essentially wave dashing that you see right now. As you see, you have like a small dash. It's not much, but it is enough to catch up against players that just move normally, which is big. Also, you don't see it right now because I am not in the combat, but you are constantly regenerating your stamina by doing such a move while you are in the movement. Because of this particular move, you can buffer two type of attacks. When you are in the crouch and you are sprinting, you're gonna trigger the running attack. If you're gonna stand up, you're gonna do the crouch attack it's like for essentially two steps onwards i don't know how much it would be in the milliseconds but there is like a some some sort of the of the period of time that you can just continue with the with the crouch attack you can also stand still and do the crouch attack while standing up you can let off your your whole like a movement completely and because of that do do the uh crouch attack from from the default crouching crouching position you can like also like immediately change di your uh, directions, which is ultra great. If you are in the range, you can change your direction, start the attack animation while bang like turning back to your opponent and then do the 180, which is absolutely great for spacing and it's absolutely great for hiding your, your maneuver, especially if you have like a big armor that covers your backs. It's like overall wave dashing makes UGS so much more powerful. It's good for guessing mind game. Yeah, yeah, it's it's great mind game. It's it's absolutely fantastic. With this, I would say like at least in the competitive rule set where you have a lot of the bans for the other stuff, great sort is one of the strongest options right now because of the wave dash. One frame on 60 FPS is around 16 milliseconds. So the startup of the poke is 14 frames, which means that you have 224 milliseconds of the reaction time when you are on the point blank range the further you are away the easier it is to to, to roll but still this is insanely fast move you can hide your stuff essentially and because of that, you have very easy time just hitting someone. Like, they cannot react. There is a there is another thing. Roll in this game working on the release and not on the click. Which makes it only harder. As you can see, you can also hold space with that quite easily. You can, like, maneuver a lot. As you can see, you can like add the mix up as well. But how to wave dash? It is as simple as using repeatedly the crouch button, which is by default L3 on the controller, while holding the sprint button. So essentially it is looking like that. It is indeed that simple. Just remember to not spam it like crazy because, because it's essentially going to give you absolutely nothing. You have to kind of time it in the way that when you are releasing the crouch, you give the game like something around half the second, maybe even up to the whole second, while still being in the buffer of the crouch attack and also increasing your, your speed to the point that you can catch on rolling out opponents quite easily. Until your enemy is using sprint to run away from you, you are pretty much going to always catch them up, which is absolutely great. So yeah, that is your super powerful tech. Within the next few months, it's probably gonna become more and more powerful as soon as people gonna realize what is the best potential setup that they can use with it. And yeah, I guess we have our new meta. So hey, thanks a lot for watching and I see you in the next one. Bye!